And hello, a sister with a testimony and a couple other sisters with testimonies and a soldier with a testimony holding down the fort in the van. And uh, we are going to be diving right in today. Open us up in prayer, my dear. Well, Father, we just thank you for this beautiful day out here, Father God. And we give you the glory for it. We pray, Father God, that the word that we receive today will just make our lives better, Father God, to know that you are in control, Father God, that you allow things to happen, Father God, and that you will walk with us through all of this, Father. And while we're walking through it, Father, we're just getting a closer relationship to you, Father God, to know that it says in your word that you'll never leave us or forsake us, and we should not even have a spirit of fear, Father God. The only fear we should have is fear fear of the Lord, Father God, and we thank you, Father God, for everything that you're doing for us, Father God, and we just give you all the honor and the glory. Amen. Woo, I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. They look up that fear. It's called prayer. So we're going to dive right in, and I think I named it um, Corona, in parentheses, Latin, which means crown. And I'm going to go a, an interesting direction with this. The crown of suffering. Think of the crown of suffering. Uh, what do y'all think of when you think of a crown of suffering? The thorns on Jesus' head. All right. Well, um, let's just dive into uh, Psalms 19. Psalm chapter 19. One of my favorites. The heavens declare the glory of Yahuwah and the firmament shows his handiwork day after day utter speech and night after night shows knowledge there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard and this is going to be our go-to scripture verse 4 and this is out of the Peshitta it's, it's not the King James version all the other versions this is like one of them old ancient ones so we're going to get it right their good news has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. And this is the kicker right here. He, that's Yahuwah, has set his tabernacle in the sun among them. Wow, totally different than probably other people's. It is. Yeah. It is. And he is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. I love this. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends thereof, and there's nothing hid from the mist of his breath. Now remember that, the mist of his breath. All right, the mist of his breath. Not folks that are contaminated and breathing out disease, but the mist of his breath, I love this. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is trustworthy, making wise the young men. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. And I'm seriously thinking we're talking about spiritual eyes here. The reverence of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. They, verse 10, they are more to be coveted than gold. Yeah, don't run out and buy gold and silver. Yeah. No. His truth and righteousness, they are more to be coveted than gold, yea, than precious stones, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and if he keeps them, he shall be greatly rewarded. Now, the next three, some of my favorite in the whole Bible. <laughs> Had to memorize these many years ago. Who can understand stumblings? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Spare thy servant also from presumptuous sins, lest the evil ones have dominion over me. Then shall I be cleansed from my sins. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my helper and my Savior. Wow. Isn't that an amazing passage of Scripture? 
I could just I could just stay right there, but I'm gonna move on. So we've got Psalm 19 talking about the heavens declaring God's glory. The firmament showing his handiwork. There's nobody on this earth that has not looked up and wondered, wow, that's pretty amazing. I wonder who did that. And it tells you right here, there's no speech or language that their voice is not heard. Every human being knows that there's a creator. Whether they reject it or accept it. But the, the amazing thing is that he has set his tabernacle in the sun among them. The heavens declare his majesty. Isn't that amazing? I, I love to debunk all these false teachings. Just It's like I, I don't like scripture twisted the way man wants it to say. So today I'm going to talk to you about the sun, S-U-N, and the sun, S-O-N. And the horizon, picture the horizon. Early in the morning when the sun's rising, you can't look at it, it's so bright. Wow. Late at night when it's setting, it's still bright, but it's beautiful. It makes some of the most beautiful pictures. The horizon is the, uh, one of the letters in the Hebrew alphabet is uh, Kuf. It's number 100. And um, it looks like, like this. The horizon, the sun setting. Does that make sense? So right here you got the sun going down, and then you got the sun coming up. Isn't that cool? That's cool. That is uh, one of the Hebrew alphabet letters. And uh, it means cycles. The sun rising, the sun setting. The beginning in the east. The setting in the west. So it rises in the east, the sun shines, it sets in the west, and there's darkness. It's got to do with time and timing. The sun in the heavens. Isn't that cool? Yes. So there's all this stuff going on about a virus that they named Corona. Oh. They named it Corona. Now I wanna wanna show you something. Corona is a Latin word. Corona is a Latin word. It means crown or wreath. Okay, so picture the crown of a baby's head. When the baby crowns, you know the baby's about to be birthed. Ah, sun's up in the heaven, ain't it? When it starts to rise, you know the light has shined in the darkness, and the darkness didn't comprehend it. Why? Because men loved their deeds, their evil deeds, and they didn't want the light shining on it. So check this out. Everything that God has ever done, the enemy counterfeits. Yes. He takes something that God has made glorious and beautiful and he counterfeits it, he twists it, and makes it ugly. Follow me here. Yeah. This is a fun journey. Yeah. So a crown, picture a crown resembling a crown. What does a crown look like? It's like that and it sets on your head and there could be beautiful diadems or all kind of artwork, gold, silver, rubies. All kind of stuff, just picture a crown. It could also be a circular chandelier in a church, hanging from a church roof, a corona. Isn't that interesting? And all of the definitions in the dictionary, and anywhere you look, you're going to find that a corona is a circular chandelier hanging in a church. <laughs> interesting? Very. Okay, can also be a long cigar with blunt ends. You know, a cigar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. How about a crown-like part of your tooth yeah. or your skull, like a baby being yeah. birthed that yeah. he's crowning? Now, I think you'll like this. The top projection of a cornice. You know, the decoration around the curtain rod, it's always on the top. Right? right? Mm -hmm. It's something you put on top and decorate it with. Did God decorate the heavens with the sun, the moon, and the stars just for us? That is so cool. All right, now, what about this? Now, we're going to talk about not astronomy, but astrology, which uh, the stars, the sun, the moon, the heavens. A layer of ionized gas surrounding the sun, and you see it in a total eclipse. You ever seen a total yeah. eclipse, and yeah. you see that? Yeah. That, that's a corona. Oh. Isn't that cool? 
How about a ring of colored light seen around a luminous body? You know, I don't know why the witches and the warlocks see the corona around you, the color. Because you're a luminous body, you're full of light. You're full of light. You're full of light. Yes, we are. You're either full of light or you're full of darkness. darkness. Exactly. So yes, they know yes, they according do. to that color and that what they call an aura, that corona that surrounds that luminous body. They know if you're walking with Jesus or not. Wow. Better stay prayed up, saints. Wow. How about an extra world of a flower part? A flower has a corona in the center of it. How beautiful did God create these flowers and certain ones he picked to put a corona in the center? Isn't that cool? Do your research. How about the visible electric discharge resulting from a partial electrical breakdown in a gas? So you've got astrology, you've got physics, you've got biology, you've got so many different things that corona is a part of. That God made good. God made good. So if God made it good, then I'm going to make it look like it's a horrible, terrible disease and scare people to death with it. Exactly. Okay, it depends on how you're using it, isn't it? So let's skip over to the Corona Borealis. You ever heard of that? It's a constellation. In the heavens, it's a constellation. It's a small constellation in the northern hemisphere. The Corona Borealis. Now I want to take it a little bit further with the crown idea um, over in classical mythology. Oh, you always knew it. it had to come back to mythology or witchcraft or something, right? Why? Because the enemy is going to counterfeit what the Lord made good. So in classical mythology, the Corian Corona Borealis represented a crown given to the Cretan princess Ariadne by the god Dionysus, which is the god of wine and drunkenness. Wine. <laughs> Seriously. He set the crown in the heavens on her behalf on their wedding day. She wore the crown, the Corona, at her marriage to Dionysus, after her lover Theseus, the Athenian prince, abandoned her and left her. Seriously, this is what men think and what they teach and what they fall for. It makes sense. God created it good, so we're going to contaminate it. Now, some, some folks say that this Greek goddess, or myth mythological goddess, the Cretan princess Ariadne, was considered holy and pure. I'm like, seriously? Let's try again. So with a little bit of research, I found out that she's actually represented by a snake or a spider. Closely associated with mazes and labyrinths. So Christians, if they want you to walk a maze or a labyrinth and do your prayer meditating, that is not godly, or should I say it's not Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's godly. It's godly, but if you're walking a maze and a labyrinth and you're doing all your prayer meditating and you're chanting, you doing something to the little G God. What's her name? Ariadne? The one that married Dionysus? And he made a crown and put it in the heavens. Well, see, that's a lie because we know that our father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, created the heavens and the earth yeah. and the sun and the moon and the stars. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's a lie, people. It's a lie. If they grab it. Well, they grab it because it suits them. Now I want to show you a scripture in Isaiah 59 talking about the adder, the snake, the serpent, and the spider at the same time. Now you should read chapter 59. It's wonderful. 
In verse 6, it says, Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and acts of violence are in their hands. Now check it out. Go back to verse 5. Who are we talking about? Isaiah chapter 59, verse 5. They hatch adder's eggs. That's serpents. And weave a spider's web. He who eats of their eggs shall die. If you buy into this, you're going to die. And those who hatch out will be found to be vipers. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity and acts of violence in their hands. Now, what, how does that pertain to what's going on right now with this disease? Their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Plunder and destruction are in their paths. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. A disease comes to steal, kill, and destroy. God the Father. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is not a destroyer. He is not a murderer. He is not a thief. He is not a liar. Wake up, church. It says in verse 8, Isaiah 59, 8, The way of peace they know not, and there is no justice in their ways. They have made their paths crooked. Whoever walks in them shall not know peace. If you read on, you're going to find out that this, we, we understand it was in Isaiah's time, but saints, when you read between the lines, look around. We have got corona, which means a crown, which is that beautiful, just vibrant, would you call it energy from the sun? Of course, it, it makes energy and heat and light. And if God has set his tabernacle in the sun, we're going we're gonna to be men and women that just come and destroy that and say, okay, this is something evil. No. He made the sun, the moon, and the stars. He made them. And so men come up with gods and goddesses that made the heavens and placed the corona borealis in the heavens because on behalf of, 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 of a lover. How do you twist that and make that good? But that's mythology. And many people buy into it. Wake up, saints. This goddess, this um, crowned goddess of Corona, associated with mazes and labyrinths, she's a snake goddess of the Minoan, of the Minoan Crete. Let's, let's grow up and wake up, saints. Let's get back to the crown part. Because you can say... There's all kinds of different ideas out there as to what corona is, but in, it's a Latin word, and it means crown or wreath. How does that, how do we understand that in scripture to be a crown of suffering? Well, let me, let me, yeah, through Jesus, but let me, let me shed some light on what a crown is. In the Greek... The number 4735, Stephanos, from an apparent prime root, Stepho, is to twine or to wreath something. Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. So what did the soldiers do? They took thorns and they made a wreath or a crown of thorns to put on the king of the Jews. That was like today, him hanging on the cross, yeah. okay? Perfect for today because this is, we're talking about the crown of suffering. Yeah. We're talking about the crown of thorns. How does that have anything to do with corona? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Let's make it plain. It is considered a badge of royalty and a symbol of honor to be crowned. Woo! I'm sure Jesus didn't appreciate the fact that the crown was, you know, pushed into his head and he suffered. But what about the victory that he got from wearing a crown of suffering? 
Saints, we don't want a crown of suffering. We want the pretty one. We want the one with all the jewels and diamonds we can sell and go prosper some more. We don't want the crown of thorns. We don't want that badge of honor. We want the badge of honor for men and women. Christ was mocked. They put that crown on him and they were mocking him and they were bowing and they have no idea they're going to bow all right. But they won't be mocking him the next time, guys. Matthew 27, 29. And they wove a crown of thorns. Remember, it's to twine or to wreath. They wove a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They put that on my Savior's head, my King's head. They put a reed in his right hand and they fell on their knees before him and they were mocking him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They didn't know what they were saying. They didn't know what they were doing. They thought they were mocking and laughing. Just like they're mocking and laughing now saying, Look at the coronavirus making the people of God run and hide in fear. He is the God of everything. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the God that created everything. He's not in fear of corona. He made corona. He named it. You want to call it a crown? You want to call it what's around the sun when, a, when there's a full eclipse? If you want to name, if you want to call the corona that, that color or that look, that, that whatever it is that hue. hue coming from a luminous body of light, which we are. Whatever you want. You want to call it a cigar? Call it a cigar. But God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he knows all things. He's been there, done that, got the t-shirt. And when his sun comes up in the morning, it sees everything. And it makes a cycle. It makes a cycle. Yes. Remember, Kuf, the number 100, one of the Hebrew alphabets, meaning horizon. God created everything. How can we cower or run in fear and be afraid? Everybody wanna to go to heaven nobody wanted to die to get there a crown of suffering a crown of thorns a badge of honor literally or figuratively it's considered a crown that is so interesting isn't it but it gets a little bit deeper if you go back to Exodus chapter 29, verse 6, because we, we want to have more than one scripture. We want to have a New Testament and Old Testament. Exodus 29, 6, And you shall put the mitre on his head and put the holy crown upon the mitre. It's like a double crown, because back then, mitre could have been used for crown. So it's like a double crowning, a double wow. This is It gets really deep, saints. But I want to take you a little bit further. What some folks don't know, in the Hebrew, number 2213, Zare, from the number 2237, Zara, in the sense of scattering, in the sense of disgust and loathsomeness, specifically to sneeze. Specifically to sneeze. In the, in the Hebrew, come on, guys. What has this got to do with corona? Well, let's see. Don't it's sneeze spread on through anybody. sneezing, coughing. So they're counterfeiting. Yeah, they're making it bad. So you're do your saying, research. So you're saying a sneeze could be blessed? My sneezes are blessed, Mine honey. Too. I'm not about you, but my mm -hmm. sneezes are blessed. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna come sneeze on you. No, I'm not. But the either. point is. Is that it's all if it's it. in the Hebrew and they're trying to use it as a dispersion, okay. specifically in our understanding to sneeze, mm -hmm. a crown, corona, come on, how simple is this? God did not put a mystery down here that no, he's he not gonna not. tell his servants about. That's right. So I'm a I, hey, I'm a that's I'm a wordsmith. I'm fixing to find out what the real problem behind it is. As Derek Prince would say, if there's a problem, if you just look a little bit further, you're going to find out it's occult in nature. Exactly. Occult. An occult. Hidden. Hidden. 
which leads me to my next scripture. Love it. Eight. Number eight. You love the number eight? Yeah. New beginnings? Yeah. Luke chapter eight, verse 16 and 17. Love it. Love it. You know, you, you got to do your own research. I don't have a problem doing it. I love doing it. If somebody listens, they listen. If they don't, they don't. Father God, we just pray right now wherever he's going, wherever she's going. Lord, give them traveling safety. Let them get there. And Father God, I pray in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that nobody dies without leaving this. But nobody leaves this world and dies without knowing you as Lord and Savior. Bless them, Lord, and I just cover and hide and protect them, pleading the blood of Jesus over them. In Jesus' name, the saints are like, Woo! Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. No man lights a lamp and covers it with a vessel or puts it under the bed, but he puts it on the lampstand, and whoever enters sees its light. The Lord dropped in my spirit a few days ago about lampstands. Haven't gotten all the understanding about it yet, but here it is. Lamp stand. You ain't going to put it under a bushel. You're not going to stick it under the bed. You're a light. You're going to shine in the darkness. Verse 17. For there is nothing covered which will not be uncovered and no thing that is hidden which will not be known and come to light. The enemy wants people to think Corona is evil. In the way that they have depicted it, it is death, it is destruction, it is fear, it is chaos, it is mayhem. I do not have to listen to the world. I do not have to listen to what the world is saying. I have to listen to what my Father is saying. And my Father in Heaven, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, He is the crowned prince. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. There's no higher crown than that. Let me read to you about what a crown is in the prophetic realm. Okay, you got all, all your prophet, hot dog, flip flop, every one of you that's a prophet calls yourself so. I love you, God bless you. I hope you remain a prophet, and tell the <laughs> truth, and stop telling folks they need to make a deal with God and pay him uh, with a seed offering to get healed because you a liar, okay? Not happening. You ain't a prophet, you just think you are. Love you, God bless you. Anyhow, I'm praying for you to get saved. A, gr a crown is a Greek word. Here, it's, it's written. Stephanos, the Latin is corona. This is so simple. Crowns were fixed symbols of war triumphs. We are in a war for people's souls. Nothing or no make the triumph and the victory. And it's by no mistake, I did not tell you anything about this. You had no way of knowing what flag to get out. And look at the flag that you got out, sister. Look at there. That's the Holy Ghost. Triumph. Triumph. I don't know which way it is, but check it out. There's one, one direction it's triumph. The other direction it's triumph. <laughs> It don't matter if you fling it this way. It don't matter if you fling it that way. It don't matter if you stick it on your head and say, I'm crowned with triumph and Victoria. Woo! Let me tell you what, saints. I don't know about y'all, but that's simple. A child could understand it. Crowns were fixed symbols of war triumphs. They were placed upon rulers' heads. Because that is or that is ordinarily how they earned their rises to authority. Yeah, they didn't know. Oh, I want to get up and shout. They didn't know when they put that crown of thorns on my Savior's head. They didn't know what they were doing. They said, ha, 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 hell, king of the Jews. Duh. You played right into his hands. He had to suffer as a man, but let me tell you what, he's coming back as the judge. Yes, he is. 
and he's already conquered Corona. Yeah. He is the crown victor, uh, yeah. and there ain't no getting out of it. Hallelujah. And triumph is my key here today. To God be the glory. Because you know what? Mercy trumps. Mercy triumphs. Mercy triumphs over judgment. If you think this is judgment, you ain't seen judgment. They don't even have an idea. They have no idea. No clue. The Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. The heavens declare the glory of Yahuwah, and the firmament show his handiwork. Day after day utters speech, and night after night shows knowledge. There is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. Their good news has gone out through all the earth. Saints, when that sun comes up, and it goes back down, and it's a cycle, poof, it's a cycle of time. Time's getting short, saints. Yes, it is. He has set his tabernacle in the sun among them. And they can fuss, cuss, snort, blow, hyperventilate. Jesus is Lord. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. And let me tell you what, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess yes. that Jesus is Lord to the glory of yes. God the Father. He's yes. already worn the crown of suffering. He sure has. He's already worn it. He's already been given the honor. He has the badge. He has wore the good fight. He has triumphed over the enemy. And he's got the crown. He's got what the coronation ceremony is yet to be seen yeah because let me tell you what honey there's gonna be a whole lot of folks get crowned and we're gonna take those crowns and we're gonna throw them at his feet this could go a lot of different directions but at the coronation ceremony we're gonna have our crowns to throw at his feet do y'all have any crowns to take to the coronation ceremony because we got to see everybody bow their knee and confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I don't know about y'all. I don't need to know no more about corona, crown, wreath, prophet, whatever. Whatever's going to happen, it is written. You ain't going to change it. All you're going to do is take a little extra time to repent because even Jezebel got a chance to repent. She sure did. I know Red this light. one did. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray us out, lady. Oh, Lord, we just thank you, Father God. We just thank, thank you, you for your word today, Father God. And we just thank you, Father God, that we're going to walk in that faith, Father God, and walk in your word and get in your word, Father God. And we're going to research, Father God. We know never change and we are going to suffer it says in your word that you didn't we didn't come for peace he came with for us to have a sword for us to suffer father god for righteousness and we just thank you father god we just thank you for today we thank you for what you're doing and we thank you father god that we can have this day to give you all the glory and all of your honor.